Welcome to second part of server side pagination in Angular 8. And if you have not watched the first part, then you can go to the description link and you will find the first part. Now, inside uh, admin service, we need to write a logic for getting the data for from the URL. So page, pagination page, number. return this dot http dot get the url from where, where we are getting the pagination service and pagination data so this dot get url i have taken inside one variable and i am just passing the value of the page which i have service service slash question mark page plus page the value that which uh, with where we are returning from the ts file so in this way we are we have to get uh, our data from the URL now inside the component in which we are implementing our server set pagination we have to import these three things active page any pager any total count any now private user I have uh, import the user service now I'm writing a logic for pagination for getting the data to show uh, on our HTML site get page this dot admin service dot pagination this dot active page dot subscribe you need to subscribe to get the data inside of a component i have taken all the data inside the response res then we need to see that what we are getting in a response so console dot res rs res and we just need to get declare an ng on in it this dot get page that's it so let's see the response what we are getting oh this is the response manages success now we need only matter that page detail current page equal to the next page so we just need this data to show the data and to show the server side pagination now i am going to sorry this dot count and uh, I have, we have to take a uh, uh, this dot total count in response data data page detail and total count means total number of items so we have taken inside at this dot total count variable and have, we are going to take this value of our total count inside this dot total count now we need another value this dot so i have taken i've just declared get application variable and inside it i'm taking the value of the data which we are getting from the url so the data which we need to show on our HTML site to so response data merchants okay so site page now we have to write a function for showing the number of pages set page I am taking set page page number 
this these things we are writing for the server side pagination if page now we have to write a logic if page is less than one or page is greater than this dot total this dot pagers Pager dot total pages. These are all the things that we are, we are getting from from the service from the pagination service return. Now for or showing the need uh, for showing the total number of pages this dot pager is equal to this dot user dot get pager this dot total count page now this don't get a page the function that we have write upward we need to declare inside our set page to show the values of pages so that's it this dot pager equal to this dot user dot get pager this dot total count this dot active page so we have written that now let's go to the HTML side I have already made the things I, I hope that you all know about it now I have taken all the data that we can see the data from the get application variable I have taken inside a light item and read the value now one thing I forgot that there is an active page equal to pager equal to page sorry console dot log this dot active page now we need to see the value of active page so let's come inside and that and then and in the console side in the console we can see the value now inside thank you that's all the part for second part and the server side pagination for the third part uh, you can see that video link in the description part thank you